Hello there, welcome back to our channel. Today we will explore an interesting and essential topic, how to debug Angular applications in Visual Studio Code. Whether you are a newbie or a seasoned pro, understanding debugging techniques can significantly speed up your development process. First off, let's ensure that we have everything we need. An Angular project setup, Visual Studio Code installed, and Google Chrome browser installed for debugging. Let's ensure we have built-in JavaScript debugger enabled. This is usually enabled by default. If not, you can enable it from the extensions view by searching for JavaScript debugger and clicking on the enable button. So you can see that it is already enabled, so no need to do anything. Now, go to the debug view by clicking on the debug icon in the activity bar on the left side like this and then click on this gear icon that will open the launch.json file that was already created and here you can see that there is a configuration already created if it is not created for you already you can create the same configuration but most of the time this would be created automatically for you so make sure that your angular application is not running yet so now, if your uh, this sidebar is open on the top, you can see this green play button. Make sure ng serve command is selected. That is the name of the, this configuration. Just click on the play button, and this will start the server in the debug mode. And you will see the status here as well. So it is saying that the port is already in use. So I will just stop it close it let me stop the server that is using that port okay I will close all of these terminals now I will click on the play button again and this time it will start on the default port for me all right you can see that our application is running we are all set now let's use the breakpoints for debugging find the part of the code that you want to debug click in the gutter to the left of the line number so for example you are on the login component like this so click on the gutter to the left of the line number to set a breakpoint when the code execution reaches this point it will pause and you can inspect variables and call stack so let's try that so for example if i fill something here and click the login button if you click on the login you can see that it uh, pauses the execution at this line and you can review the information when your application hits a breakpoint like this you will see a variable you can see the variable values in the left side bar. You can step into step out or step over the functions using the controls on the debugging tools that are here. You can also watch specific variables and evaluate expressions. So for example, if you hover your mouse here, it will give you the values of all of the objects and properties like this the, uh, the value property has an object with the properties with password and username username and if you hover on this property it will give you the value of this property and also on the left side you can see that the property the variable name username has the value set already from the line number 17 but the password value is not set yet because it, the execution of this line is not completed yet so other than that on the left side we have a section closure and the global area so you can see the global variables in here and also some variables here as well that you can inspect you can see their values uh, so you can experiment with that as well other than that here you have the call stack area so here you can uh, use these options from here as well 
and you can also see that uh, from which functions or files this function or line was executed you can travel back to see the chain of this execution other than that here you can see the list of breakpoints that we have added so far right now you can see we have only one breakpoint if you register another breakpoint then that would also be registered here in this list it is telling you every information and after that once you are done with this line you want to go to the next line you can just click on the play button that will resume the execution and if you click on that right now on the left side you can see that password is undefined and if you click on the play button it will stop on the line number 20 and now you can see that the value for the password field has been uh, set after that and you can now uh, inspect the value or you can see the values for these vari uh, variables on this line number 20. So once you are done, you can uh, click on the play button. It will continue the execution. And once you think that your debugging process has been completed and you don't need it anymore, you can just click on the stop button and the debugger will be stopped. And that's it. You are now ready to debug Angular applications effectively in Visual Studio Code using the built-in JavaScript debugger. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you debug, the better you get. Happy debugging and we will see you in our next tutorial.